today, Precarious Plays... Samurai Legend Musashi. Math time, math time continues, cause math's forever. Math is the truth. <laughs> actually, there's actually some, some thought where math might not be true. true. Yeah, it might be constructed. Yeah. yeah. Which is really trippy to think about and has very little impact on my day to day. <laughs> so it's like the perfect thing to spend a lot of time thinking about. It's like, you know, if I don't figure this out, in fact, if no one figures this out, I'm pretty sure we'll be all right. But at the same time, it is deeply interesting. I believe it was Idea Channel that was talking about whether or not math is, I think, Real? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Hmm. Yeah, there's a deep dark rabbit hole for if anybody wants to go down it. <laughs> well, I'm uh, I'm usually of Some the, thoughts make you smaller and the others make you th large. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh this is the the kind of thinking that I'm worried might might be too deep for me to play a video game while explaining well. Yeah. I'm, but I'm normally of the opinion that. Uh, what's the fastest way to say this without sounding like a crazy person? Once something has faded to memory, okay. All memories and situations that can occur in your imagination, because mm -hmm. that's where all memories wind up anyway, is just something that your recollection is just a form of imagination. Mm -hmm. um, it all feels very similar. Yeah. So I would probably argue that math is as real as any other thing, because it happens in an imagined space. Mm-hmm. So there you go. Did did I did that make enough sense for uh, a show that's about video games? <laughs> you know, I'm gonna change the subject right now. Okay. <laughs> so, you know the chest opening animation that reminded me that we had started to compare this to Metal Gear Rising. Rising. Yeah. Because, because I played, it's played like, Rising it recently. plays... I, I played it with Julian the Great. I don't know if that's going to be... It's going to... Uh, this is going to be way... This is going to... We're, we're destroying... It, it, it can't... Chron chronological... It happens... It's All not, right. Mm. So first we were talking about math and the nature of its reality. And now we're going to destroy the timeline. So if everybody <laughs> can just please, like, hang on to their butts and know that we're talking about... The, the episodes with Julian the Great that we'll which might not be out for for a while. like weeks and weeks yeah yeah but we had, a, we had a friend visit out of town to record with us and it was supposed to be a surprise but that's stupid so yeah surprise <laughs> surprise <laughs> this is eventful um so anyways but you were playing Metal Gear Rising with him. And after we were thinking about it for a little bit, did you guys talk about this while you were recording? No, no, because uh, <laughs> playing that game, Samurai Legend Musashi was the last thing on my mind. Yeah. Well, they'll just have to watch it. The point is that you have like another game about a dude with a sword and he also slices open boxes. <laughs> but very smartly, much more smartly, it doesn't take you out of the moment to watch a little cutscene where your character just does something that you can do yourself, which is atta basically attack the box. Yeah. You actually do just attack the box. Mm -hmm. What are you holding? This is the important thing. This the is onion? The onion? This is the, 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 uh, the laz lazanut. Uh-huh. Huh. I hope I'm taking it to the right the right place. I'm, I'm, I was just sort of following the little red dot. Oh no, I don't want to get I don't want to get too far off the subject from the last episode. Mm -hmm. um, so, the game I think I want to compare this to. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go way back. I'm not gonna do Final Fantasy 12. I'm gonna do Final Fantasy 10. 
Yeah. So, I was wondering if maybe I was playing this game with uh, too many expectations born from action games that happened recently. Mm hmm. And what if the intention for the game. Yeah. Was supposed to be more like a more standard turn based role playing game. Mm -hmm. Where they sort of expect you to grind. They expect you to lean really heavily on healing items. Yeah. Like maybe all of the stuff in the shop seemed really prohibitively expensive because I don't want to spend even even 15 minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Fighting bats and the same basic ninja type enemies and the same like trash can robots. Maybe I don't want to fight them to earn enough money to buy a lot of restorative items. Right. But maybe instead of having a game that has really satisfying combat where the idea is you're supposed to overcome by like an application of of uh, a skilled application of a variety of, of abilities, like physical um, ways your character can move in the environment or ways you can defuse enemies. Uh, maybe instead of that, you really are just supposed to get into a gameplay loop where you like get enough money from whatever whatever source. Hopefully, I guess the ideal situation, you're, you're playing it at its best whenever you... Um, in a situation where, like, the money that you earn from just your most recent, like, first trip through an area mm -hmm. also provides you with enough money to completely restock in preparation for the next area. Right. But see, that doesn't make much sense to me either, mainly because of the burnt biscuit. Yeah. Like, it is profound how the inclusion of, like, that one item, that one free healing <laughs> item... How it's uh, how it's defined the way I've been playing the game so far. Yeah, I have a feeling you're gonna have like, it's gonna end up being like your your nostalgia food. Yeah. When you grow up into something other than whatever this age group is. <laughs> oh, I'm a whatever little... this kite haired age age group is. I'm a little nervous because I just realized that I I seem to have like passed the little red dot. Oh yeah. Like I I sort of assumed that I was taking this back to town. I really hope that I didn't miss an important you're, bit you're of instruction. You're taking it on a journey. Well, if I'm taking it back to like a little warp pad to take it back to town, that's cool. But what if I was supposed to take this like weirdly to some other place in the woods? Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, oh, geez. Oh, okay, no. That's probably it. This is, prob this is probably it. This is probably fine. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Maybe. Let's see. Oh, okay. Oh, it came okay. with me, it looks right. like. Maybe. We'll see if it comes out the other side of the transporter. Oh. Oh. Uh, uh, um, go see her just in case you put it in. Is that a fucking fanny pack? What? Look at your butt. No, no, it's much better. I think that I'm pretty sure that he's supposed to be wearing like a pair of like tall pants yeah or like overalls well i was gonna say i was actually gonna say overalls but there's no way that like they the sleeves are just missing yeah. yeah so i think that he might have been wearing like a pair of pants that like zip up to the waist like up to like the sternum uh-huh and he just folded it down so he could have what i think is his underpants showing like, i'm fairly, fairly sure that that's a pair of like boxers boxer briefs Aw, how cute. It's a weird outfit. Yeah, it is a really weird outfit. I'm not saying it don't look good. I'm just saying. I'm saying I'm saying right now that I think it probably could have been with a lighter touch. I'm just saying he looks sane. What? Huh? <laughs> I did that. I'm just saying. Good. Mugfix Fontina's glasses. Oh, his mug. name is Mugwort. No, Mugfix. Mugfix. Mugwort right. is a fixer fixer. Mugwort is an herb that is used in Aww. sweets. Aw, he's so careful with his big hands. It's very silly. 
Yes, it is. Mug done. He must be incredibly dexterous for his size. And do I... Was that... Do I actually have the ore? Okay, four chunks. Cool. Okay, so I think we can probably... Let's go ahead and let's give her her glasses back now. No. No? No. No? Episode done. Episode done? No. no. Episode done. Episode done. Come back later. <laughs> Episode done.